So there's asked this really great question on, um, and I won't mention the name of this very famous rich politician who's in America. <laughs> so I'm sure no one, he shall remain anonymous, whatever his name is, but uh, he's very rich. And actually, anyway, I won't, uh, yes, I, I did study this guy when I was in my stock market success mode. Um, anyway, he became a politician in America. Um, so how comes he's got so much money? How comes he's got, I mean, uh, I think the Im implication of the question is how can some people who've probably done some dubious things in their life be so successful? I think that's the essence of the question. It doesn't matter who it is we're talking about. Well, the thing is, you've got to understand, this is like the, the old question of how can a child be born with physical health abnormalities and disabilities? How can a child be born with um, in the middle of Africa with no parents or dying parents. So how can that happen? How can someone who's, um, there was a, yes, I can mention his name, what was his, Maddox. Maddox in the States, uh, he, I think he's been, yes, he's been jailed. He uh, started a Ponzi, financial Ponzi scheme, took uh, billions of pounds from money and he had a lot of, uh, anyway, he's, he's in jail. So that's kind of, but for, for many years, he wasn't caught, I think for a decade or so, and was living the billion, probably the bit, he had the, the sort of billionaire sort of uh, lifestyle if he wanted it. So how comes these people, I think so, you can sort of see in that case, that's not a good example because some people might be very rich and seem to be doing a lot of dishonesty and they die being very rich and you know flashing their wealth everywhere. But how is that? Well, and how do people get born in horrible circumstances that seem to be nice? So this is the age old question. And uh, for me, you have to go to karma and the nature of the universe uh, to, to know. So you can, everyone, if you like, in certain s situations with karmic, uh, with karmic laws can do a lot of damage before there's a reckoning. And they can also, their reckoning can be not in this lifetime. So let, let's say, for example, um, I'm in a financial job and I'm super dishonest and taking money from everyone and getting really, really rich and got my Ferrari and telling and wearing my, uh, my big flashy suit, bragging, driving a thing. And yet some people know that I, I'm, I'm totally corrupt and dishonest and yet I've got all this money. Sometimes I might get caught in this lifetime, but what you realize with past life regression or muscle testing and past lives is that you never get away with anything. It's just like, it's like, it's like a credit card, really. Karma is a bit like a credit card. So I could get like a credit card with a 1 million pound limit and start spending it. <laughs> like a 1 million pound. I'm going to get my, okay, I've got the card, the platinum, whatever card, and uh, got a million pound limit. I'm buying a Ferrari, um, I'm putting a suit on, I'm gonna show everyone how I'm buying a mansion. And, and then I get another credit card and I get another mansion. And you know, and people are looking and people know that I'm totally dishonest and corrupt and a bastard. So it's a bit like then, well, how comes, how comes he's got so much money and I'm honest and I'm poor? Well, you know, sometimes they, you know, my, I'll get my cup up, comeuppance in this lifetime and sometimes I get my cup up and in a future lifetime. So unfortunately in a universe where karma and spiritual lessons exist, there has to, you know, time exists and the capacity to make spiritual error and free choice exists. So there has to be, otherwise you'd get your payback straight away. So I should be able, you know, I could eat donuts for 10 years before my payback comes in. I could run credit cards at 100 miles an hour and be flamboyant to the world and be dishonest. And my payback may come in this lifetime or may come in the future life. So when you see, for example, past life regression books or go to a past life regression, you'll say, I've got this problem. I have no clue why I've got it. Uh, and then like, for example, with myself, I was just reflecting on this today. You know, I'm sure financially in this lifetime, past lifetimes, I've been horrible to people, dishonest. And, you know, I have a lot of problems in this lifetime with builders and traders. And, um, you know, um, now that stuff is 
um, so what you see and when you get your reward, what when you get your just desserts from the universe, aren't aren't instantaneous. So um, so I do um, so it is it is like that. There is there are spiritual principles or spiritual laws, and you can get away with things for quite a long time, and and have you know I could eat donuts probably for thirty years and still be eating them. Uh, you know, some people seem to be eating donuts for 30 years and still be thin. Um, and some people um, are seem to be very rich and yet seem to have bad personalities. And they may get, you know, you may see what happens. The universe has got in store for them in this lifetime or maybe in a future one. Uh, with health problems when you're very young, you know, let, let's say, uh, anyway, I think I better not go in there. That would be controversial. So I'll leave that for this video and stop there.